So you're asking yourself, can this gray girl pull off this brunette wig? Well, of course you can. It's just a couple of little tricks of tying this hair in with this wig, and I'll show you just how easy it is. Raquel Welch, Wavy Day, and she has these beautiful waves. This is such just a natural looking, the way that she wears the True to Life fibers. She's just really beautiful. And can't wait to show her how this gray girl here, the silver sister, puts on this, wears this wig, and how to work the front end into the brunette. Let's show, let me show you the cap on the inside first. The Wavy Day has a full monofilament top. The lace is from ear tab to ear tab. The tabs are felt tabs and has the metal stays in it to push in. It has the wefted cap, open wefting, and you can see how it has silicone on it. So it really sits and stays on your hair really nice. And it has the extended nape with the adjustable Velcro here in the back to tighten it up if you need to. So I want to show you kind of the trick that I have of blending it in into the front. Well, let's put my whip grip on first. I'm going to put my hair behind my ears. You can see how it's just behind my hairline. Let me get another mirror here to help me. As if you've watched my videos, you know that I have really cut my hair an awful lot. I get six to eight inches over the last six months, and I just felt like with as thin as my hair had gotten, it was just best for my hair to trim it down and see how it goes. For a long time, I did not want to have short hair. I just love the length, and then my hair thinned out, and so we've gone with this, right? And the good thing is, as I found my love, which is wicks, and I am able to really do whatever I want to. Long, short, silver, blonde, brunette, you got it, anything I want. So, you know, if you have the silver hair, what you don't want to have happen is having the hair to be able to, if you see that silver hair sticking out of, this, of the brunette wig, it's not going to look good. I mean, because, well, you're going to give it away, right? Just what I do is, is I just pull down the front here of the hair that I'm going to pull, kind of blend out, let it come out a little bit to go into my wig. And I found these hair powders. And this is usually for when your hair is growing out and you have great silver roots, white roots. This is a great powder for the roots. So I actually even have it in white. And the white I'm able to kind of fill in where it's really thinned out or in the, in the part line or the crown of my hair where you just see pink skin, a lot of pink skin. And it doesn't look very good. It makes my hair look really, really super thin. So I have white to take care of that when I don't wear a wig. And then I also have it in dark brown and in light brown. We're going to go with the light brown because the roots on this isn't really dark. And it pops out, oops, it pops out, has this cute little sponge. And the lid has this ribbon on it. This is called Bold, Boldify and with a little mirror in it. And you can see here, whoops, I opened. This is the white one. And then I have, this is dark brown. We're going for the light brown color. So this is my light brown color. You can see here the sponge and then the lid opens up. There's a little mirror inside, but I still have the sticker over it. And then I start putting it on here on the front or where my hair might show through the wig. And I want to blend some of this back. So just like that, I just go over my hairline. And what's great about this is it washes out. I even like to put it back in this area because I don't know if you noticed on some wigs, it, and this is going to wash out of my wig grip too. What I've noticed on some wigs is that this beigey color, my hair is white, and that beige really shows through. Like I can see a line where it is. Now, yeah, this looks a little crazy right now, but this is when you want to really disguise and no one's going to know. No one's going to know. So just like that, and just blend it in a little bit. And I'm going to actually also just slide it down my hair because this wig has some money pieces, then this light is going to do just fine. So just like that, the gray's gone. So I'm going to come over here a bit. Get here on the front. This reminds me of that we get our kids and our grandchildren. 
the chalk. It's kind of that idea. Well, you can also use spray. I'll show you that another time, but the root spray, you could also squirt it into the lid of the root spray and clean that off my makeup a bit where I got it. As I said, this washes right out. Super easy. You're going to be surprised how well it blends in then. When you're putting your wig on, just hold the back of the wig like a bucket and put your head into it and pull it down. Take the ear tabs, get her where you want her, right there. I'm going to move my hairline back now. See that? So now you can see the brown under there. It's going to blend in with this root cap and it's not going to be white. And see, I like to have some of that hair, the few hair in the front, just like that, so that what you see is my hair. See that? My hair coming back into it. And it really blends it in nice. If I can get in close, it really blends it in. You wouldn't know I have gray hair underneath here. As you've seen from my videos, I have embraced my gray. I've gone totally gray, white, silver, and but you know what? I still like being able to look like a brunette. And that's Wavy Day. Raquel Welch, Ice Latte Macchiato. She is gorgeous. She is the wig that I put her on and went, Ooh, I love her. I had some ladies out at lunch were asking me, because I live in the Netherlands, and so you never really know where to go to as an expat living here. And they were, where did you, where do you get your hair done? Now, these are people that saw me just weeks ago with a silver wig on. Yep. If you think people are really noticing, they're not noticing as much as you think they are. Instead, this time I showed them, you know, pulled it up and it's like, oh, well, I bought her. And as their mouths fell open, they were, they were like, that's not your hair. And it's like, well, she is. I bought her. Yep. They were astounded. They were surprised. I want to show you the sides. Turn around. Love the, I love the length. I love the colors, the definition. I love how she's a messy, beachy wave. She's really beautiful. I'm so happy. I found her. And ladies, let's face it, who doesn't want to look 10 years younger sometimes? I've embraced my gray and my silver, but there's just times that I really want to be a brunette. I really want to be a blonde or a redhead. It's just who I am. Variety is the spice of life. Be bold. Be beautiful. Be you. Don't be afraid to be exactly who you feel like you want to be today. You do you and don't listen to anybody else. I hope y'all see you next video. Do it, my darlings. Bye.